Hi everybody. Hi. Sorry it's been so long. Uh, it has been crazy busy here, but we thought a quick recap uh, on the three pillars of our ministry. We left New Zealand with three pillars of what it is that we do. Firstly, is to serve with the skills that we've got. Secondly, is to learn the culture uh, and the place, the land of Israel. And uh, thirdly, is specifically to share um, using video media. So we're a little bit... Uh, Getting those three pillars balanced <laughs> is quite difficult. So we have been serving, 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 um, crazy busy, and uh, that has all affected the uh, third pillar, which is specifically sharing with you guys, uh, our followers and supporters. So um, please forgive us uh, for that. Um, we will push on. Why are we here? We thought we'd recap... Um what we're actually doing over here, just to try and do it in a real short nutshell. Um, what are we doing? How are we serving here in Israel? Why are we here? Let us go to the Bible. <laughs> Ephesians 2, 19 says, So then, you are no longer strangers and foreigners, but you are fellow citizens with God's people and members of God's household. Now, it was that verse that really spoke to me um, if I'm a citizen of God's people, of Israel, um, I really feel like I should know more about this land and this place and this people. Yeah, and of course James was prompted first out of the two of us to come to Israel and for me I'm here because, um, because God spoke to my heart about it, really is the short story. Um, and so yeah, Israel's on my heart and Israel's on both of our hearts to be here and to serve. Where specifically are we serving? What are we doing here? Where are we serving? Okay, so we're at ICJ and the Aliyah Return Centre. Now we're doing a project with the ICJ, helping do a human resources database and uh, we've also helped them with the project management system for this year's Feast of Tab Tabernacles. So by uh, supporting us, being with us, and supporting us in prayer, uh, financially covering us, um, those things that you are feeding into us are feeding directly into uh, the Feast of Tabernacles 2017 this year, the prophetic Feast of the Lord, and also into the Aliyah Return Centre, um, the Aliyah, the work of Aliyah, helping Jewish people return uh, to Israel. So that is hugely, uh, that is a, a, a big encompassing statement. There is a lot of small details and a lot of work that goes with all of that. Um, but that's it in a short story. Second pillar, what are we learning? At the moment I'm learning uh, really the delicacy, the delicacy? The delicate nature. The delicate nature. I'm learning the delicate nature of Jewish Christian relationships. Um, especially higher up. Um, so with regards to the Jewish Agency and the Aliyah Return Centre and how that's coming together, this project Bed Zero, renovating the old boarding school, very nearly shut down due to orthodox protests, publications that have hit the media. And that's also why we've been on uh, media or public release lockdown for the last six weeks. Um, why? Incredibly sensitive nature of that. It, um, and I won't go into a huge amount of detail. Short story is the orthodox community do not want Christians in the land. They just don't, don't want us here. Uh, and ultimately they believe that we're a cult out to steal the souls of their young people uh, or any, any of their people. Uh, we prove though, the testimony of how we work and how we live, we have successfully proved and by the grace of God we've had major breakthrough um, that we're not here to do that. We are here to serve, um, that we, uh, we uh, the big convincing argument is that we actually are coming into line with God's will um, for the nations, the Gentiles, coming into Israel to serve them. And uh, that is written, written many, many times in the Bible. So it's a huge part of what I'm learning. What am I learning at the moment? Well, I am, we've just started a Bible study with a group of women who live in the same area as me about spiritual warfare. We watched the movie War Room. I don't know if any of you have seen it, but it was really good. I really, I took a lot away from that movie about spiritual warfare and the importance of prayer. And we are now doing the Armour of God Bible Study, this one. Um, who It's by the main actress, she wrote this um, study. And I'm just learning about how to be more strategic and intentional with spiritual warfare. In Israel, here we are the hot, in a hot spot mm. in spiritual warfare. 
And so for me, it's really opened my eyes to be more intentional and strategic. So that's what I'm learning about at the moment. The third part for us is to share. Now, I wanted to share uh, a few more scriptures just around today's messages to, to why we're here. These messages or these scriptures are specifically related to Aliyah and the nations uh, being and what their part is, what Gentile nations part of Aliyah, the return of the Jews to their homeland are. Isaiah 11, 11 to 12. It will also come about in that day that my Lord will again redeem a second time with his hand the remnant of his people who remain from Assyria, from Egypt, from Pathros, from Cush, Elam, Shinar, Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. He will lift up a banner for the nations and assemble the dispersed of Israel and gather the scattered of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Isaiah 14, 1 to 2. For Adonai will have compassion on Jacob and will again choose Israel and settle them in their own land. The outsider will join himself with them and will cling to the house of Jacob. The peoples will take them and escort them to their place. The house of Israel will possess them in the land of Adonai as servants and handmaids. They will take their captives captive and rule over their oppressors. Isaiah 43, verses 5 and 6. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east and gather you from the west. I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not hold them back. Isaiah 49, verses 22 and 23. Thus says the Lord God, look, I will lift my hand to the nations and raise my banner to the peoples. They will bring your sons on their chest and carry your daughters on their shoulders. Kings will be your guardians, their princesses your nurses. They will bow down to you with their face to the ground and lick the dust at your feet. Then you will know that I am the Lord. Those hoping in me will not be ashamed. Isaiah 60, 8 and 9. Who are these who fly like a cloud, like doves to their windows? Surely the islands will hope in me with the ships of Tarshish in the lead to bring your sons from afar, their silver and gold with them. For the name of Adonai your God, and for the Holy One of Israel, because he has glorified you. And actually, we have a wonderful story just recently that goes with this verse, when it says, to bring your sons from afar, their silver and gold with them. We've seen nations coming to Israel, donating their gold jewelry, and uh, the leader of the ministry here that we're working with actually commissioned somebody to melt uh, the gold down, uh, made created restoration rings uh, with these verses inscribed in them and we've been giving them back to Holocaust survivors. So we were at a ceremony just uh, the other week where uh, we were able to present, not us personally, but the leader of our ministry uh, gave to a Holocaust survivor uh, this gold um, restored to her because in the Holocaust uh, the Jewish people had so much, all of their gold stripped. Even their uh, gold teeth were taken. And, and stolen from them. So restoring uh, the gold back to Israel and, and the Jewish people and Holocaust survivors, uh, just how touched we were and also how, how this woman, I mean she just wept. It was absolutely beautiful. It was amazing. Isaiah 61 verse 4. They will rebuild the ancient ruins. They will restore former desolations. They will repair the ruined cities, the desolations of many generations. Strangers will stand and shepherd your flocks. Children of foreigners will be your plowmen and vine dressers. But you will be called the priests of the Lord. They will speak of you as ministers of our God. You will eat the wealth of nations and boast in their abundance. Instead of your shame, Double portion, instead of disgrace, they will sing for joy. Therefore, in their land, they will hear it. A double portion, they will have everlasting joy. And again, this verse speaks to us because it says they will rebuild the ancient ruins. They will restore. And uh, this project of restoration of this uh, huge abandoned boarding school, bringing Christians from all over the world, they're coming and they're painting, they're cleaning. And with my skills, and I mean, I've raised my whole life has been in construction and now being part of serving and, and helping with the management and project management and marketing and media of what's going on in this work uh, is an absolute honor. It's really cool. And to see the restoration happening uh, before our eyes as Isaiah prophesied it. Jeremiah 16, verses 14 to 16. 
Therefore, the days are coming quickly, declares the Lord, when it will no longer be said, as Adonai lives, who brought up the children out of the land of Egypt. Rather, as the Lord lives, who brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north, from all the lands where he had banished them. So I will bring them back to their land that I gave to their fathers. Behold, I will send for many fishes, says the Lord, and they will fish for them. After that, I will send hunters and they will hunt for them from every mountain, from every hill, and out of the cliffs of the rocks. It's not our will that uh, we are here uh, and, and serving in Israel. It's God's will. Uh, our job is to align ourselves what His will is for us. It's clear from the scripture uh, that it's His will that Israel returns to this land and that the nations will serve them. Uh, we are thankful to you, our supporters, for being partakers of this work. You are partners in this work with us. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. And if you want to check out the links for um, ICEJ and for Aliyah Return Centre, if you're not sure who they are and what they do, um, we've included those in the links below and we've also put links to the scripture that James read. So you can go over those for yourself too. Have if, a you've great... got, if you've got any questions, we would love to hear from you. And if you're thinking about coming to Israel, we would love to see you. Yes, we would. Come and stay with us. <laughs> God bless. Bye.